Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Pooja. In today's video, I am going to be creating a makeup look for Diwali. I hope you like the video and without any further delay, let's get started. So to prep my skin, I am first taking the Color Bars Selfie Primer Oil and I am going to apply this all over my face and neck. Then massage it really nicely into my skin. This gives a glow from within kind of look and I really love it. Next I am taking Sugar's Base of Blue Deep Pore Minimizing Primer and I am going to apply this all over my face and neck but focusing mostly on my T-zone area. Next for my foundation, I am going to take Milani's Conceal and Correct foundation and I am going to take one pump of it. Then I am going to mix it with Pop XO Illuminating Sunscreen and then I am going to apply this all over my face and neck. Then using Real Techniques Expert Face Brush, I am going to blend it all out in a stamping motion. Next I am taking Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealers and I like to use two shades because I like to create my own shade by mixing it. I will mention all the details in the description box so don't forget to check it out. So I will apply the concealers under my eye area, on my forehead, on the bridge of my nose, around my mouth area and little bit on my chin. Then using the same Real Techniques face brush I am going to start blending all of it. Next to bring some dimension back in my face, I am going to be taking Sugar's contour stick and I am going to apply this wherever I want to contour that is on the hollows of my cheekbones, on my forehead area, on the sides of my nose and on my jawline. Then using the same Real Techniques brush, I am going to start blending all of it. This particular contour stick from Sugar is highly underrated. It is so creamy and very easily blendable. I would highly recommend you guys to check this one out. Next for my blush, I am going to be taking this product called as Nap Tint and I am going to apply a few drops of it on both sides of my cheeks. Then using the same Real Techniques brush, I am going to start blending it and you can clearly see I went a little overboard because I was using it for the first time and I applied a bit too much and now it's a mess so I am just going to fix it by applying little bit of my foundation on top of it and that way it will help tone down the blush. So this is one tip for you. If you ever go overboard with any of your makeup then you can just apply your foundation on top of it and it will help uh, tone down the pigmentation. Next to set everything that we have applied so far I am going to be taking Maybelline's Fit Me Compact and I am going to apply this all over my face and neck. Next I am taking Maybelline's Master Contour Contour Palette and I am taking the contour shade from the palette and I am going to apply wherever we had applied the cream contour earlier that is on the hollows of my cheeks, on my forehead area, on the sides of my nose and on my jawline area. Next I am taking this blush from Stay Quirky in the shade Apricot Babe and I am going to apply this on my cheeks. It's a nice muted brown shade which will go with any kind of makeup look. Next for my highlighter, I am taking the same Master Contour palette by Maybelline and I am going to take the highlighter shade from it and apply it on all the highest points of my face that is my cheekbones, my brow bone on the tip of my nose, on the bridge of my nose, on my cupid's bow, little bit on my chin and on my forehead. Next to set everything, I am going to be taking Maybelline's Lasting Fix setting spray and I am going to spritz it all over my face and neck. So meanwhile the setting spray is drying, I am going to do my eyebrows and for that I am taking the Rimmel's Brow This Way Eyebrow Palette and I am going to be taking the wax from it on an angle brush and I am going to fill in all the sparse areas of my eyebrows. Then using the spoolie, I am just going to brush it all out. Next moving on to my eyeshadow, I am going to be taking Sugar's Blend the Rose eyeshadow palette and I am going to be taking that light brown shade from the palette on a blending brush and I am going to apply this all over my eyelids and on my lower lash line. This will act as a base for my other eyeshadows and it will help blend other eyeshadows nicely. Next I am taking that darker brown shade from the same palette and I am going to be applying this only on the crease area and also on my lower lash line to give some dimension to my eyes. Next I am taking this brown kajal from Bella Mostly and I am going to apply a line across my eyelids and then using a smudging brush I am going to smudge it out. I am going to repeat the same on my lower lash line as you can see. Next I am going to take Maybelline's The City Mini Palette and I am going to take that shimmery dark brown shade on a pencil brush and I am going to 
applied on top of the brown liner that we applied earlier to kind of set it next i'm again taking the dark brown shade from sugar's eyeshadow palette and i'm going to blend any harsh lines from the previous eyeshadow in my crease area then i'm taking the golden shade from the maybelline city mini palette and i'm going to highlight the inner corners of my eyes with it next i'm taking faces canada's all time pro coal and i'm going to apply on my upper and lower waterline next i'm taking lakme's mascara this is from their karina kapoor khan collection i think and it's really good i'm going to coat my upper and lower lashes with it okay now moving on to lips firstly i'm going to take lotus eco stay lip liner and i'm going to line my lips with it then i'm taking sugar's liquid lipstick in the shade bella trick and i'm going to fill in my lips with it and it's such a beautiful shade of brown nude color and i'm completely in love with this color it looks so beautiful and it will complement almost all skin tones so if you can get your hands on it definitely get it and yeah for the final touches i just reapplied my blush because i felt like it faded away and applied a bindi because why not it's festive season so yeah we are done with this makeup look Please comment down below and let me know your thoughts on this particular makeup look because I am absolutely obsessed with this makeup look because I can wear it with any kind of outfit and it looks absolutely gorgeous especially the lip color I am obsessed with it so comment down below and let me know your thoughts on it I hope you liked the video and found it useful if you did don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel I will see you in my next video till then bye take care stay happy and yeah happy diwali to all of you